Okay, Louisiana Beer Reviews presents another taste challenge. Coors versus Miller High Life Coors. Okay, Miller High Life introduced 1855, 4.6% alcohol. Coors, <coughs> good. No. Introduced in 1873, 5% alcohol, certifying kosher. Um, and I, I believe this is certified kosher as well, and I'm correct. 141 calories. Okay. All right. Very close in the 140 range. Will I be able to tell them apart? Um, could be a little bit of a challenge, honestly. Rain. I was getting ready to go walking. Rain. While I'm getting ready to go walking? Apparently so. Okay. Now this is going to be more of a challenge than the Budweiser. Refrigerator, of course, coming back on. What do you expect? It's going to cycle off and on every day while it's plugged in, which it's always going to be. In a rainy summer, which has kept the heat down, I have to admit. All right, um, Miller High Life usually you get this about seven dollars sixty-five cents, seven ninety-nine for a twelve pack, or is eleven ninety-nine, a ten ninety-nine for a twelve pack of bottles. So, but you can get the cores pint cans, pint cans. Four seventy nine a six pack, and the Miller pine cans are like four ninety nine a six pack. So, Coors is a much better value in cans, but it's a much worse value in bottles. So, explain that. I can't. All right. Oh man, look at this rain. It's so heavy. I was gonna go walking. Sorry. <laughs> nope. Uh, roasted barley malt with some cooked vegetable, maybe. I think it's going to be a tip off, but I'm not sure. I don't know. All right. Roasted, but not the cooked vegetable, okay? Hmm. Taste. Roasted barley malt. Okay, this is the high life. It's got that distinctive cooked vegetable. I don't understand this. They're different. They're the same company, Molson Coors, under the Miller Coors umbrella, part of the company. But um, Miller High Life has a distinct flavor. You know, like if you took some vegetables, carrots, broccoli, uh, um, cauliflower, um, celery and you steam, you know, boil them in a pot and you smelt the steam. And yeah, even some corn. That has that. This has a little papery note though, which is odd. Eh, anyway, it's still a tie. 5%, 4.6. Um, one's cheaper in bottles, one's cheaper in cans. It kind of evens out. Um, both starting to find comes. Um, they're pleasant to drink. They don't like present elaborate, enormous. Like, oh, I can't believe it's so great. I can't. I've never tasted a beer like this. Oh, right, sure. It's just average, regular old beer. But it's a good average beer. You know what I'm saying? But this is Coors, I think. And that's highlight. Coors. I did it. I did it.
I did it, I did it. So, Mellow no Highlight. Which one would I choose for everyday drinking? Um, no, no preference. Um, they're both well made. They're both fine. They both go well with you know typical type food: fried chicken, French fries, coleslaw, mashed potatoes, and gravy. You know what I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, fine, fine stuff. Uh, but. Um, it's a tie in quality and in enjoyment, but there is a difference, and not the same. The difference is just like as the AC, that's the uh, cue to get off. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching this video production, and who knows what the next challenge, taste challenge will present. What is it going to be? I'm not sure. Thank you.